Yo, yo, what's good, people? Once again, we're in the backyard studio for another Puff a Minute. It's your man, Mick. And this is Jaren. What's good, people? Hey, what's happening? What's happening, man? Listen, bro. Glad we got another chance yeah, to yeah, come yeah. together, man. You know what I'm saying? Memorial Day weekend. Memorial um, Day. Got some overcast out here today, man. So hopefully the lighting on this will be fly because we are open air in the backyard yeah, studio. Yeah, backyard you know, studio. That's how we get down, man. But cigars and conversation. I don't even know what we're going to talk about yet, you know what I'm saying, because it's unscripted. But we definitely know what we're smoking, man. So Absolutely. let the people know what you're rocking today. Yeah, man. So you know me and Dominicans. We don't get along very well. True, but true. I have a select few that I will go to from time to time. Yeah. This is one of my, my favorites. Another big gay cigar. Cigar. This is the La Roma de Cuba. This is the El Jefe edition. Yes, yes. So La Gloria, La Roma, similar. In my opinion, La Gloria is a little better. Yeah. But okay. La Roma has a few smokes that's not bad in the lineup either. So. Yeah. But another big gate this is a 7x60. So. Nice, yeah, nice, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Um, the La Roma, man, the Cuba, man, is, is actually a very good stick in my opinion, too. Mm -hmm. I got, you know, I got hip to those when I was down in the Dominican Republic. You okay. Know, and I went to a cigar shop and my man was like, you'll love these. My understanding was at the time, again, it was grown with Cuban seeds. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, you know, they was mixing a lot of different things together, man. But it's a really good blend, man. I'm, yeah, that's what's up right there. Yeah. You know? And as far as Dominicans go, like you said, yeah. it is a blend from different yeah. parts of the plant. So that's why the La Gloria's and La Aroma's a little different than some straight Dominican cigars where all you're getting is spice notes and you're not really getting a whole lot of complex flavors. Sure. La Aroma's and La, La Gloria's are a little different in that fact. So. That's what's up, man. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. So the day, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm uh, going back to one of my... Um, you know, one of my favorites in the game out there, Mr. Rocky Patel out there, yeah, you know, yeah. and uh, this is the uh, Old World Reserve. Every people are very familiar. This is one of his uh, premier um, brands is out there, but this is the Maduro. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, man, it's a fine blend. I want to say the, the wrapper is a uh, Costa Rica Maduro wrapper. Um, it has a, my God, man, I want to say the, the, the binder is Dominican. Okay. You know, and then the fillers are some mix of Dominican and Nicaraguan tobacco. You know, but again, man, it's very, very smooth blend, man. You get that, you know, some of that leathery, you yeah. know, spices and stuff like that in there as well. But uh, again, it's just a nice smoke, relaxing. It's a Sunday afternoon, so yeah, yeah. let's get it going. You know what I'm saying? And, and and again, last week you came with that old granddad 114, man. So. You know, I didn't touch it after you left, man. It's still here. I figured we could go ahead and finish <laughs> and this one off today, off. man. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, cheers <laughs> to you, bro. You know? So, now to the conversation. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Man, there's so much going on, man. That sometimes it's like, you know, you don't know where to start. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's always something newsworthy, man. The thing that, you know, really caught my eye this week was, and not just this week, but last week as well, kind of kicked off the situation with Mississippi. Yo, so. yo, <laughs> yo, it's funny that you went there, man. So, um, again, this is, um, this is a throwback to, um, you know, you, you got, you got liberals and conservatives, right? Then you have people who are further to the left and further to the right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You go so far to the right, you become reactionary and you're trying to turn back the clock. You can go so far to the left that you become radical, right? Mm. But this is such a reactionary policy man to the point where if people don't really understand what's going on man i'm gonna break it down in simple mic terms mm -hmm. right this is a blatant um run against roe versus roe v wade absolutely right? roe versus wade absolutely and the way that you do it the only way that they can overturn roe versus wade is to get these cases to the supreme court correct so the only way you can get these cases to the supreme court is outlawed locally yes right so that people will yes. appeal to the supreme court yes. it's 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 chess baby yes. you know yes. it's strategy at its finest man so when people get upset they say hey they outlawed this mm -hmm. in my state you know what i'm saying and they violate my rights or what have you so they you know and, and they go to the local court they don't get any justice there. Then they appeal to the Supreme Court. Now you're really exactly. giving people what they want. Because um, unbeknownst to many, I guess, or it should be, everybody should know, but the Supreme Court has already been stacked. Right. right. So, yes. yeah, so, so it's, stacked in, the, job, it's eh? stacked in the he favor stacked of, if you was going to do something yeah. this extreme to, to reverse something like Roe v. Wade, think of what it took to get Roe v. Wade through the Supreme Court, right? So exactly. to, to say you're going to backtrack and now take it back. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 
it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. And, and it brings up the conversation that, that we always talk about with women. I don't say we, but, you know, that comes up is our women in control of their body. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those situations where we're now telling a human being what to do with their body. Exactly. They're, 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 exactly. The politicians have been saying some crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you right, had some, the yeah. governor came out of uh, Mississippi, came out talking about it, and a few local politicians. It was just crazy, man. Yeah, they they really have no concern for the for the woman's body. Yeah, you, you can just tell in all their comments, you should keep the baby even if you get raped. Yeah. A rape victim, if you can sit, crazy, to, if you can sit to it and you already having sex and you ain't told them to stop, you gonna keep the baby. I mean, the conversation got it crazy. Was really man. crazy. They said something like <laughs> once, like once. Uh, You've agreed you can't change your mm -hmm. mind or something like that, man. Yep. It's, it's just getting really ridiculous right now the way that they're trying to regulate <laughs> this, man. This, you know, this very, very moral issue, man. But talking about having control of, of your body, women having control of their body, what do you think about, uh, what's her name? Alyssa, Alyssa Milano. Milano yeah, yeah, what do yeah, you yeah. think about her they, recommendation? They, they taking <laughs> their privates on strike. <laughs> said, yeah, we're going on strike. He you said know. the V's is out. So, <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had to laugh though, man. I like I understood what she was trying to what she was trying to do, but yeah, I think yeah. that that does more damage than good, mm -hmm. right? Because now you're basically signing on to saying that the only power that a woman has in a man's world is to withhold the sex. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So again, I don't think that that's the right. Um, you know, I think she got a lot of backlash. Yeah, yeah, too, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, the intention was good. She yeah. wanted to do something that would stir the people. I think it got people talking about it. But at the same time, you said, we don't want to devalue a woman and say her only value in this world. And, and we don't, I don't even want to say a man's world in this world in general. Right. But, you know, is that they, they giving up sex. So. True that. True that, man. <laughs> so, yeah, but that was there. Mississippi, that's a good place to start, man. That was, that yeah. was a trip, man. <laughs> let's go totally left field. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the NBA Finals, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? With the setup, man. Tell me what you think, what you like. Well, I, I'm disappointed in Milwaukee. Okay. I, okay. I thought Milwaukee would have won. It's like won. that whole season was a waste now. No, right? no, nah, nah, I just, yeah. I think when they got to the finals, I think uh, it, it was a chess match, and I think the better player won that won that game, or won that series. Okay. Kawhi ended up being the better player. Right, I right. I think Giannis just wasn't ready. Okay. Arthur Takumpo, he, he just ain't there yet. You, you know, said his name right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Arthur Takumpo, baby. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. But Giannis, man, I, I think he's just not there mentally yet. Uh, he not on that level. You got to think Kawhi's been in many playoff battles with the Spurs, and then he took that experience over to Toronto. Yeah. Then you got somebody like Kyle Lowry that's been having to deal with LeBron for almost his whole career. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, th those things in combination, I think, just came together at the perfect time for them. But people discounted Toronto and said they didn't even have a chance right. when the series started. And I said, I don't know, man. You can't count uh, Kawhi out because Kawhi's one of those – those once in a lifetime type players, right? Yeah, yeah. You can't count nobody out like with that kind of talent. Yeah, yeah, you're right, man. You know what I'm saying? I think this was this was uh, huge for Kawhi, mm -hmm. you know, and his value to the league, man. Because you remember when he left? He he left. Uh, was it Houston? No, he uh, left for uh, San Antonio. He left first. San Antonio. I knew it was somewhere in Texas. Yeah, yeah. And everybody was on him for for taking less money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because he lost money, but he wanted to get the heck up out of it. But not just that, the way yeah. he did it. He wasn't yeah. playing when he left San Antonio. They weren't sure if he was faking an injury. It was just it was mm. just bad conversation. And, then, bad, yeah. and he's a quiet dude anyway. He's not well known in the press. So, you know, he, he lets people dictate the story rather than him controlling the story. True that, yeah. So that that was something that kind of got against him. But, hey, man, the, the manager from Toronto, bro, he a heck of a job, GM, man. man. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. GM, yeah. You know, everybody yeah. counting him out, man. Yeah. I mean, he firing Jerry. coaches. He's yep. making tra he traded their favorite player away. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that. So again, man. You know, this was one of those situations where you know, if they had not gone as far as they had, you know, what I'm saying this deep into the into the playoffs, now to the finals, his job probably would have been on the oh, line yeah. as well. And, you know, and I think what yeah. people found out now is even though DeRozan carried that team for all them years, it was the same thing with Chris Bosh. Mm -hmm. Chris Bosh was a star on that team. He was carrying Toronto all those years. Look what happened when they both left. I think DeRozan has been relegated to a role player. Yeah. And I think Bosh got relegated to a role player yeah. when he went to Miami. True. So yeah. you look at it from that standpoint, like maybe they just have a lot of trouble attracting talent to Toronto. Yeah. So it makes those 
somewhat top second tier, maybe third tier NBA players. Look like Look, superstars. Exactly. Yeah, that's the exactly. classic, yes. you know, big fish, little pond <laughs> exactly. syndrome. So, yeah. Exactly. Toronto hasn't had professional basketball for that long. Exactly. So they still, you know, up and coming franchise in a sense. Yes. So now, yeah. you know, you got Drake. <laughs> as long as Drake at the game, they good. As long as Drake at the game, they're gonna be all right, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, Drake be acting a fool, bro. Love, yeah. I love the T-shirt last night, though. You know, Kawhi me a river. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah. That was his, what's up, man. All right, man. We gotta move along. We got about three more minutes, man. So real quick, um, give me your evaluation on the uh, stable genius in the White House. The stable genius? Yeah, didn't you hear that? You didn't hear no. that this week? No. Oh, yeah, 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 man. So uh, They called him a stable genius? No, that's what he called himself. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he called himself. You got himself. me with that so one. Nancy Pelosi was like, yo, you know, I'm worried about him. You know what I'm saying? He might need an intervention. Somebody may need to come in because he's unstable. And he came back and said, nah, I'm a stable genius. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, you know. I know he's been at odds. Well, he's been at odds with Pelosi since before he even got elected president. Yeah, he yeah. had a lot to say about her. And now that he's president... And he's dealing with a democratic uh, situation where Democrats are in control. You know, now he's like, you know, really going at her. So. <laughs> right, right, yeah. It's kind of crazy, man. I'm just watching the world news. Um, I don't think we need to be sending 1,500 troops or whatever over to Iran right now. You know, I think we are going to escalate a situation that could yeah. probably be resolved peacefully. It is Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. So shout out. Um, you know, first of all, everybody that's serving, but especially want to remember the loss out there today. Rocking my, uh, my, my, my uh, USS Storm, which was mm -hmm. the first vessel I had to serve on um, during my Navy days and stuff like that. But yeah, man, so, you know, on a weekend like this, you know, you got to really think about, you know, are we ever going to stop, you know, being involved in all of these conflicts around the world? Or are we always going to be going around looking for a new fight to yeah. get into, you know? And that's what we definitely see. I mean, we do have a bully for president. So, you know, it, it's nothing to him to, to fire a couple missiles and a couple rockets while he's sitting on the toilet tweeting. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. So, yeah. you know, and, they, and like you said, time like this to think about my brother who's still active duty. True that. You yeah. know, we, we worry about, you know, things that are going to go on with him. Uh, but, you know, all, all of our following uh, uh, soldiers and what have you that have served, you know, yeah. we remember them this weekend. But like you said, man, we got we to gotta get to a point where it doesn't always get to that. It doesn't yeah. escalate to that point. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, so. man. So, again, you know, there's a lot that's going on. Um, you know, I think uh, the president did an end around around Congress and, and, and sold uh, weapons to Saudi Arabia. I don't know if you're following that a little bit either. Uh, wow. You know, so, yeah, we sold weapons to Saudi Arabia. There's a lot that's going on. There was something today, um, and, again, I'm not really up on it because I've been just kind of like skimming the news, but there was something today about um, an agreement with North Korea, too. You know, yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. And, and Trump tweeted about that that they were getting close to an agreement. Okay. How true that is, I don't know. Right. Because in his mind, he may have sent him a text and said, "We agree," and that was the agreement. <laughs> versus something going through Congress, so I don't know. But you know, at this point, like I said, we gotta get to a point where we ain't always in conflict with people. Yeah, I question the intel. You know what I'm saying? I know the intel says that they were, um, you know, a threat against American in interests in the region. Um, but then again, man, you know. You, I, you can't just follow blindly, man. When you when you're dealing with an administration that is has lied about everything, you know, time and time again, and stuff like that, and people say, well, you know, all politicians lie. There's a difference between saying, you know, somebody came and stole all my possessions out of my house and robbed my house, and then somebody responding, well, everybody steals. It's different than when your mm -hmm. mama tells you you can have two cookies and you take three out the cookie jar. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's levels to this game, man, and. You know, and, and the amount of deception and, um, I mean, purposeful deception, right. you know, and, and, and misleading information that was a good word. has been, uh, yeah, yeah, has been, has been a normal, yeah. yeah. You know, so again, you have to question that intelligence, man. It's like, is it really that serious or is there a, uh, a peaceful solution mm -hmm. um, that's still available? Yeah, and like I said, you put it in good words, man, purposeful deception. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Because I think there are some politicians that go into the go into that world with good intentions yes. and all the best intentions in the world. Right. But when you do something purposefully yeah. and, and you go into it with the purpose and intention of doing wrong, yeah. then that's when we got an issue. That's so. when we got an issue, brother, and that's <laughs> where we live today. Yo, uh, here we go. Uh, Two-minute two minute drill, baby.
Yeah, right, yeah, let's run it down. Let's run it down. Okay. Make sure, make sure to follow us. Follow us on, on everything. We're on Instagram. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. We appreciate all the love on the Instagram. We got to kick y'all over to the YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the bell link. You'll get the notification every time we release a new episode. Hey, and we're on Spotify as well. Yes, we're we on Spotify. Spotify. Make sure to check us out on Spotify. We've been getting some good listenership out there on Spotify. Keep it up. Keep in touch with us. Man, interact with us. Leave comments, share. Post all that good stuff. Do the whole nine, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you hear Polo over there saying, you it's know, it's time to cut. Yeah, yeah. He's saying, hey, guys, you're out of time. <laughs> so listen, uh, again, man, everything that Jay just ran down, make sure you guys go and check us out. We appreciate your support. You know what I'm saying? We are a puff a minute. I'm your man, Mick. This is Jared, people. And remember out there, we're not just blowing smoke. Peace. Peace. We'll holler at y'all next week. Have a good one.